25 poisonous plants and flowers you might have at your house. Wisteria. Thankfully, this climbing vine rarely harms humans, but the seed pods are toxic to dogs, cats, and horses. Head to the vet if your pet develops symptoms like vomiting or diarrhea. Wild parsnip. Coarse, saw-toothed leaves grow on hairy, grooved stems that are two to five feet tall. The yellow flowers grow in an umbrella pattern like other plants in the carrot family. When juice from the crushed leaves, stalks, or flowers touches your skin, sunlight can cause a skin rash within a day or two. Look for the distinctive yellow flowers in fields, roadsides, pastures, and midwestern prairie. Water hemlock. These small white flowers might appear in your garden as weeds, and if you have curious pets, you should remove them. White hemlock's toxin, which smells like carrot, attacks the nervous system and can cause serious harm to animals and humans. Jimson weed. This strong-smelling nightshade herb has thick stems that grow four feet tall, with leaves up to three inches long. Nectar from the white trumpet-shaped flower could make you sick, along with the leaves and even the seeds, which some people use to get high. It makes you nauseous, thirsty, and feverish, weakens your pulse, and raises your heart rate. You might even forget where you are or see things that aren't there. Stinging Nettle The little hairs on the stems of these plants can inject your skin with a combination of chemicals. One of these, formic acid, helps put the sting in bee stings and fire ant bites. It's part of what causes the itchy and even painful allergic skin reaction. Stems grow unbranched in patches to about 4 feet tall, but sometimes as high as 6 feet. Look for those stinging hairs on the stem, which are a tell-tale sign. Rosary Pea Also called Jaquarity Beans, these piously named seeds contain abrin, an extremely deadly ribosome inhibiting protein. Rosary peas are native to tropical areas and are often used in jewelry and prayer rosaries. While the seeds are not poisonous if intact, seeds that are scratched, broken, or chewed can be lethal. It only takes 3 micrograms of abrin to kill an adult, less than the amount of poison in one seed. And it is said that the numerous jewelry makers have been made ill or died after accidentally pricking their fingers while working with the seeds. Like ricin, abrin prevents protein synthesis within cells and can cause organ failure within 4 days. Rhododendron and Azalea These beautiful blooms look picture-perfect peeking out over a white picket fence, but the entire plant is highly toxic. Ingesting a flower, stem, or leaf could lead to abdominal pain, difficulty breathing, paralysis, coma, and even death. Poison Sumac This woody shrub grows in wet, swampy areas all over the U.S. Each stem has 7 to 13 leaves and clusters of green berries that droop. Cool showers and calamine lotion might help relieve the itch, but you'll have to wait a week or two to bring relief. See your doctor if the rash is on your face or private parts, covers more than 25% of your body, notice pus from the rash, or you breathe in smoke from the burning leaves. Poison Ivy like its cousins poison oak and poison sumac, it has an oily sap in its leaves called urushiol. This causes an allergic reaction that can make your skin red, swollen, and itchy. It grows over most of the US except Alaska and Hawaii. Each stem grows into three leaflets that might help you notice it in the woods. In the east, midwest, and south, it grows as a vine, and in the north and the west, as a shrub. Poinsettia. This decorative plant is one of many in the spurge group that also includes prostrate spurge, spotted spurge, and leafy spurge. It has a milky sap that could irritate your skin. Like wild parsnip and giant hogweed, sunlight triggers the skin rash. If you eat it, as kids sometimes do, it can give you an itchy mouth, diarrhea, and nausea, though it usually isn't serious. Philodendron. 
The sap from these trendy houseplants can irritate your skin and mouth, resulting in throat swelling, breathing difficulties, burning pain, and stomach upset. Severe reactions are rare, but it's still best to keep philodendrons away from kids and pets. Oleander Eating only a small part of this plant, which flowers in white, pink or red, can be fatal. In one case, just one leaf was enough to harm a child. Symptoms of poisoning include drowsiness, slowed heart rate and shaking. Lilies While they're the most popular around Easter, lilies in the Hemorrhocallus genus endanger cats even after spring. That includes common tiger and daylily varieties. Eating just a small amount can lead to acute kidney failure or death. Mistletoe Whether this parasitic plant, which probably makes an annual holiday appearance in your home, can cause death has been debated, but it can cause digestive problems, slowed heartbeat, and hallucinogenic effects in humans in large doses, and is of particular harm to pets. Lily of the Valley Breaking Bad fans will remember that Walter White used this sweet-looking plant for some not-so-sweet deeds. Consuming its toxic compounds called cardiac glycosides can send people to the hospital with symptoms like dizziness, vomiting, rashes and diarrhea. If left untreated, those little bells can even cause death. Hydrangea These popular blossoms contain a toxin that's no joke, cyanide. But don't uproot your plant just yet. Pets and humans need to ingest quite a bit of these flowers for the effects to be fatal. Giant Hogweed It lives in the rich wet soil near ditches, streams and farms, especially in the northeast. It has umbrella-shaped groups of small white flowers, leaves with deep creases, and stems with white hairs and purple splotches. It grows as tall as 15 feet. Its sap can make your skin more sensitive to ultraviolet light, which could blister, burn, or scar it, sometimes permanently. It could even damage your vision. Foxgloves People grow it for its looks throughout the United States. It thrives in the wild in some places too. Its bell-shaped flowers are often bright purple, but can be white, yellow or pink. It blooms in the spring. It also has a fruit with lots of seeds which kids sometimes eat. All parts of the flower are poisonous and can slow or disrupt your heart. Euphorbia species The sap from these common plants can cause severe pain and injury to the eye. English yews. This entire plant is poisonous, save for the berries, but the seeds are the most toxic. The alkaloids throughout the yew can cause convulsions, paralysis, and in extreme cases, heart failure. Diaphanbachia. Also known as dumb cane and elephant ear, can become deadly if ingested, causing the airways to swell shut. Even brushing against it can cause burning or itching. Daffodil The bulbs are the most poisonous part of these so-called friendly flowers, so you might think twice about planting them if you have a dog who likes to dig. Ingesting too much could cause vomiting, diarrhea, convulsions, tremors, and cardiac arrhythmia. Bittersweet Nightshade this woody perennial has a stem that grows through the year. It can reach up to six feet. Purple flowers in groups of three or more bloom around July or August. Kids are sometimes drawn to the roundish, juicy, glossy, red poisonous berries. The poison, solanine, can give you a headache, drowsiness, stomach ache, vomiting, trembling, lower temperature, dilated pupils, and diarrhea. If you think someone's eaten it, get them to the doctor right away. Castor oil plant Castor oil plays a part in many home remedies, but the actual plant itself is more likely to kill you than cure you. 
The seeds contain one of the most poisonous, naturally occurring substances known to man, according to the Cornell University College of Agriculture and Life Sciences. Just one seed can kill a child, as the toxic protein ricin can cause severe dehydration from vomiting and diarrhea. Monkshood Monkshood has a long tradition as a deadly plant and was used by ancient warriors to poison the water of their enemies. All parts of monkshood are poisonous, especially the roots and seeds, and flowers if eaten. In the past, wolves and criminals were poisoned with an extract from the European flower. The species was also supposedly used as a component in witch's brew. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments below which of the 25 poisonous plants and flowers you have in your own garden. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one.